A race to find an ecological solution to air travel is on, but zero emission commercial flights are still years away. One possibility is the use of synthetic fuel, made from things like algae, oil or waste, as an alternative to kerosene. In the truck that you can see behind me, you'll find a mix of kerosene and synthetic fuel made from used cooking oil. And because the mixture has some physical properties as kerosene, operators, airlines or refuelers don't have to change anything. Problem is, synthetic fuel costs about five times the price of kerosene, so the industry is investing in other alternative solutions. With the France 2030 project, we're going to invest 200 million euros in emerging actors, particularly to develop small electric and hydrogen planes, because we really believe in that and we think it's an industry with a bright future. Examples include this small American model powered by a 3,600 kilogram battery, or this French electric two-seater, whose autonomy so far doesn't exceed an hour. As for the hydrogen option, NASA or companies like Airbus are spending millions on trying to be the first to commercialise their project. We can't really expect large hydrogen planes in the next 10 years because we still need about 10 or 15 years. So it will be more between 2035 and 2040 for large commercial aircraft. 12 million people board a flight every day and that number is expected to grow in an industry responsible for 3 to 4% of global carbon emissions.